In the past, seabird biologists used to have a rather romantic idea about this period spent away from the colony. For a start, they called it the honeymoon period. But that rather missed the point, because the female goes away on her own. So why does she fly hundreds of miles away from home with her mate's sperm still unused inside her? Because she's busy building up this yoke. This is the bird's reproductive tract. Here in the ovary, one of the ova is filling with yolk. On the yolk surface sits a tiny disc that contains all the female genetic material needed to create an embryo. The albatross is now to collect enough food to enable her to amass a yolk so big that it can be transformed into a chick. And only when she's done that will the egg be fertilized. Remarkably, it takes more than one sperm to start a new life. The extra sperm probably releases substances that start the embryo's development. Minutes after fertilization, the egg starts its 24-hour journey down the oviduct. First, it's swathed with albumin, the egg white, that contains the water needed by the growing chick. That done and enclosed within a membrane, it travels on into the uterus where it will be given its protective armor, a shell. The shell is actually quite separate from what it contains. To help understand this, we can do a simple experiment. These are unfertilized quail eggs. And this is vinegar. What the vinegar will do is to reverse the process of shell formation by eating away the shell from the outside. These thousands of tiny bubbles are carbon dioxide. They're the result of the acetic acid in the vinegar reacting with the calcium carbonate of the shell. In 24 hours, the shell has dissolved. And this is the egg as it would have been when it first arrived at the uterus. A yolk surrounded by a thin layer of albumin, all contained and supported by a loose, soft bag. And unexpectedly, it's this bag, the membrane, not the shell, that gives the egg its shape. So now, back inside the uterus, the egg is almost complete. Calcium carbonate, carried by blood vessels, is deposited on the soft egg membrane, where it will harden and set, forming the shell. Then other cells begin to discharge pigment, like paint being squirted from hundreds of tiny paint guns. As the egg slowly revolves, yet more cells spray out spots and streaks. It's taken just under 24 hours for the egg to be fertilized and enclosed within a hard shell. And now, within the dark uterus, it waits like an actor in the wings, ready to make its appearance on life's stage. But which end will emerge first from the bird? Big end or little end?